Have you ever found a citation while researching that you need to hunt down? This video will teach you how to hunt down a citation strategically using Snowden Library's databases and Google. During this video, I'm going to show you how to track down this specific citation. But first, let's talk a little bit about what steps you need to be taking in order to find this resource. First, you'll need to consider what type of source it is. This really depends on the citation style that the author used. Here are three different examples of how to cite this resource in MLA, APA, and Chicago style. So you can see that the information in each citation is really the same, it's just organized differently. As you can see, each citation has an author listed, it has a title listed, and a year. But there are a couple of other pieces of information that really stand out to me and give me a clue as to what this resource is. First, I can tell that the citation has a second title. There are also editors included in the citation. And finally, there are page numbers. Usually when you're citing a resource and you include page numbers, that tells you that it's probably a journal article, a magazine article, or a book chapter. I can tell that since these citations are including editors, that usually only happens with books. So I can tell that this is a book chapter. If you're still not sure what type of source it is, you can always Google the title to see if you can determine what it is based on your results there. Next, you'll need to consider where you can find this using the library's databases. The best place to start is Snowden Super Search. That's because this pulls results for most of Snowden's databases. You can find books, ebooks, book chapters, journal articles, and many more types of resources here. Another place you can turn to is the online catalog. So this is where you can find print books in the library. If you are looking for a book chapter, you will probably want to just search for the entire book because the book chapter itself may not be listed in our catalog record. If you're still not able to find this resource using the library's databases, you can always see if it's available freely online. These are called open access materials. They're often found in online repositories or archives. And finally, if you're not able to find the resource freely available online, you can always request it somewhere else. You can do that using two different programs at Snowden Library. One is called EasyBorrow. This is how you can request books from other local institutions. Or you can use something called Interlibrary Loan. This is a program you can use to request pretty much anything from libraries all around the world. Now these programs are free of charge, but technically you already paid for them. So they're free now because you already paid with your student fees. So you might as well take advantage of these programs. So now we have this resource. We've identified it as a book chapter in an edited volume. So this is a book chapter from a book that has different chapters authored by different authors, and it was edited by two different people. So now I'm going to show you how to find this resource using Snowden Library. Starting at Snowden Library's website, let's search for this chapter in Snowden Super Search. If you scroll down, you'll find Snowden Super Search in the middle of the page, and let's paste the title of the chapter here. As you can see, the database did not find this book chapter. If you're having this problem, something you could do to fix this error is erase all of the punctuation marks and try searching again. We could also try searching using different spellings. So maybe this requires a Z and this still isn't working. So let's try something else. Let's search for the book title in the same database. So the database pulled up this record. Let's click on Lycoming Availability to see how we can access this item. Now that the web page is asking us to request this item, it looks like 
this book is not available using the library's resources. But let's double check and see if we can find this freely available online. I'm going to search for the title of the book online. And actually, this first link looks really good. This is from a database called JSTOR that the library subscribes to. And what do you know? It looks like this book is available freely through open access in JSTOR, and Snowden Super Search missed that. So it was actually really helpful to Google the title of this book. If you scroll down, you can see that each of the different chapters are available, and here's the one we were looking at. You just need to click the title to view the book chapter. Now, I would have been able to find this book chapter if I went into JSTOR using the library's databases and search for the book there as well. Just always remember to use the library's databases first, because if you only search Google for these different resources, such as journal articles or books, and you hit a paywall, that will not happen using Snowden Library's databases. So if you ever get stuck trying to find a resource from a citation, you can always ask a librarian for help.